Another power quality issue facing today's electronics is irregular voltage. While we may expect a constant 120 volts to be coming from our wall outlet, such an expectation is not realistic. The only national standard regarding voltage regulation is known as ANSI C84.1. It establishes recommended voltage ranges as shown. 114 volts to 126 volts as a service voltage, typically the connection between utility and customer, and 104 volts to 127 volts as its utilization voltage, typically the termination point to the equipment. While these standards were well within the operating parameters of most equipment in use when the standard was written in 1954, today's sensitive equipment is much more susceptible to such large irregularities in the incoming voltage. Today's power supplies are designed to operate at the optimum 120 volts input. When the voltage is higher than 120 volts, your equipment is subject to extra electricity that can overheat or damage your equipment, sometimes even creating a fire hazard. When the voltage is lower than 120 volts, your equipment's power supply must work harder to create more electrical current in order to make up for the difference, creating a tug of war effect in your power supply. This can cause your equipment to overheat, malfunction, or sustain permanent damage. Professionals typically measure voltage with a multimeter to ensure proper AC management. One should keep in mind load conditions and other variables such as nearby construction, incoming line resistance, and the condition of your mains transformer can adversely affect your incoming voltage. It is important to keep this in mind when troubleshooting equipment problems or specking in the new system. And with mobile equipment, such as live performance or mobile broadcast gear, all bets are off. When plugging into a remote location, you never know what you're going to get. The solution to these problems is voltage regulation. A voltage regulator takes incoming voltages that are either too low or dangerously high and converts them into a stable, constant 120 volts AC. Furman employs multi-tap autoformer for voltage regulation. This device has several output taps that allow it to boost up or buck down voltage when irregularity is encountered. For example, Say you're at a location in an industrial area that is fed extra voltage from the power company. At night, when load conditions are low, your equipment may get a steady stream of 130 volts of incoming power. When the regulator detects this voltage is out of regulation, it bucks down the voltage to 120 volts. The circuit switches electronically at the zero crossing to avoid distorting the AC waveform. This is a great benefit compared to most other multi-tap autoformer designs, which can switch taps at uncontrolled times, creating clicks in the audio. Furman's regulators are designed with the audio video professional in mind. Of course they provide regulation, as well as noise filtration and surge suppression. All regulators are precisely calibrated to be noise-free while switching and to operate silently without the use of any motorized parts. Furman has solutions for live sound, 15 amp applications, 20 amp applications, and 30 amp worldwide use applications. In any live or recorded performance that you have listened to in the past 25 years, there's a good chance that you have heard a Furman voltage regulator at work. <laughs>